Wait, do I get to do the overdramatic YouTuber thing? I think I get to do the overdramatic YouTuber thing. <sighs> Guys, we have to talk. Okay, look, I get it. You've read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, I know what you're thinking. Clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. This is it, folks. David Popovich has gone off the deep end. He's done. He's finished. Hashtag David Popovich is over party. Which confuses me this. Can you have a hashtag over party if nobody shows up? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. But really, what is this video about? Well, you could thank Twitter for that. See, I have a problem. Is there a way to not make this sound overdramatic? If you've been around this channel recently, you've probably seen my many esoteric ramblings about how books, for a lack of a better word, complete me? Ew. Basically that I like looking at books, reading books, but most of all, buying books. Expanding my collection, getting the next entry into a series, discovering a hidden gem, finally reading that one book people won't shut up about. I become a Pokemon trainer. I just gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. I wish I could live in a house filled with every book ever cause I like the idea of having a complete set. Gotta catch them all. And don't get me wrong, I love getting books. I'm the easiest person on your Christmas list. But this collection attitude has led me to a dilemma. Something I've known I wanted to address, but would get distracted and slip back into bad habits. There really is no way to not sound overdramatic here. Then, in a day that would live in infamy. December 6th to be precise. Wait, hey Siri? When did Pearl Harbor happen? It happened December 7th, 1941. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. I was scrolling through Twitter, probably when I shouldn't, when I came across this tweet by Heather Anthos that goes, fact, buying books and reading books are two different hobbies. Ouch, girl. That hurts. That stings. I feel called out. I'm triggered. And you're 100% right. I have a problem, guys. See this shelf? The one to show how booky I am? Filled to the brim with books of all shapes and sizes, spanning different genre and time periods, with tales as epic or intimate as one can find. A shelf that shows I have wide, and varied tastes. This is my to read shelf. Every single book you see here, I've either never read or never completed. Every single one. My name is David Popovich and I'm a bookaholic. <laughs> it's not like I don't want to read these books, most of them. You think I would actively get an L. Ron Hubbard on purpose? It's been a while since I've done a Mission Earth book, hasn't it? Um, I'm still not ready. But all these books are here cause I want to read them. But like Heather said, it's one thing to buy books, it's another to read them. And boy, do I have a problem actually reading the books. Multiply that by a few years and God, some of these books have been here for over a decade. Maybe more. What's that? I think we got an impromptu bookshelf tour! Oh, dear God, some of these books are so old. I remember reading this guy for a book report, but got bored and just pretended I read the whole thing. My parents got this book for me from a local author and I haven't read it cause I never liked the cover. Just look at it. It's so self-published. Ew. 
Let's see. Oh, dead white guy. Oh, dead white guy. Oh, dead white guy. Oh, dead white guy. I got a lot of old white guys here. Eh, I got the hate you give, so it balances itself out. Now, this book was made for me. I've always wanted to read the Earthsea books, and when I heard this complete edition was in the works, I just had to have it. Also, just look at this baby. This is the definition of dummy thick. It's also really heavy, oh my god. Help, I'm dummy thick, and the claps of my pages are alerting the guards. My channel in a nutshell. Come for the books. Day for the outdated memes. This book was a gift from my friend. I got this one because it's about the Loch Ness Monster, so my trash. The only reason I owned this was because they had a scholarship program and thought this would be easy for a reader like me. Then I read a few pages and nope. Like I said, there is a reason for every book here. They aren't just for decoration. If that were the case, I would have bought a copy of Infinite Jest years ago. Besides, I have a hero with a thousand faces, which is already basic douche. There are five levels to douche readers. A hero with a thousand faces, infinite jest, Ulysses, gravity's rainbow, homestuck. This isn't the only shelf, by the way. I have another little shelf across from me with even more unread books. Seriously, I have a problem. I have the entire To All The Boys I Love trilogy cause it was buy two, get one free. So I had to get the whole set. I got these two during a, was it a buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off? Buy one, get one half off. Oh, after seeing Knives Out, I've been obsessed with reading some good detective fiction. I got some Patterson. Chandler, Christy. I think I even have Hammond on the other shelf. Yep. Oh God. I bought this book back at VidCon 2018 and have still not taken it out of its box. Mainly cause of this joke I wanted to do. Okay, to be frank, it's the Odd Ones Outs book. I wanted to do a whole bit about it getting delivered to me, but that video kept getting delayed as other projects took over. Now it's just here, in its box, for two years. Would anyone even care for a video about the Odd Ones Outs book now? Shoot, he has a sequel coming out too. This book I bought solely for the cover. It's a lizard fighting a giant alien bee wasp with battle armor, swords, and is that bug spray on his belt? The Tenzin are fierce warriors, master strategists, and reptiles. The enemy are savage conquerors, brilliant technicians, and insects. Neither have known defeat until the Bug Wars. Why haven't I read this yet? This is my trash. Now this one, I was recommended this book by a dear friend I met back at my coming out group. He kind of became a mentor to me and helped me understand what being gay meant. He recommended this book cause it helped him and felt it would be a perfect fit for me since I'm into fantasy. Originally, I was going to do a bit about how we haven't talked in a while, but then I learned he passed away back in 2015. In all that time, I never read or got to talk to him about his favorite book. I don't know what to say. I honestly didn't expect this to take such a turn. I'm doing a video about this. And that's why I made this resolution for the year. To stop impulse buying. To stop adding to my collection. To finally read these books I bought over a decade ago. This year, I will not buy books. No more books. That Sounds like a big thing. Oh my, no more books for a year. How will he do it? But it really isn't that much of a change. I'm not swearing off books in general. If there's one I want to read, I can just go to the library or download on Libby. Which, if you haven't, 
check out Libby, it's basically a free digital library. There are plenty of options for me to still read. I'm just making the choice to not buy books, which will help me whittle down my shelves and save some money. That's the reason why, but as much as I would love life to work the way I want it, I know there may be times I need to get a book. So while my overall goal is to not buy books, I am giving myself three exception rules when I have to. One, anything work-related. This is a if all else fails exception. If there's something I want to talk about, but for whatever reason I can't secure a copy through the library or other legal means, then I'm just going to have to buy the damn thing because I want to talk about it. The caveat being, if I do buy a book for work, then I have to do the video within the year. None of this sit on a shelf in a box for two years. Two, it's okay to get books still as gifts or requests for reviews. This comes in two parts. Just because I'm not getting books doesn't mean others can't gift me one. This is to cover the personal, like birthdays and Christmas, cause like I said, I'm an easy buy. But there's also the professional. While I was making this video, I was asked if I wanted an advanced reader copy of a book, which hasn't really happened to me with a big indie publisher. And since I've been wanting to make connections, why not? In the book biz, we call them ARCs, which I'm sure now makes me an official booktuber. Look, Ma, I'm a real booktuber now. It's so pink and drippy. Three, I am leaving myself open to buy two things this year. Wait, what? How can I say I'm not buying any books this year while saying I'm still buying two things? Well, simple. They're the ones I want. The first book is Axiom's End, which is Lindsay Ellis's upcoming book. She's a creator I've watched over the years and has been a major influence on how I make my videos. And since this is her first book, I want to support her cause if anyone deserves the success, it's her. The second is Beastars. Mainly cause I just love the series. Honey, since my last video, Two more volumes came out which give me way too much to say. This one image of the best boy has given me way too many uncomfortable thoughts cause yes, he's still 17. FBI open! And buying a book that comes out bi-monthly that I'll read in a single night helps balance out my buying power. So yeah, that's what I do. It will be different not going to bookstores as often, but this is good for me. It's already been about a month and a half, and I'm doing fine. I joke that books complete me, but they don't owe me. I'm good. We're good. It's not like I need it. I don't 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 need it. Definitely don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Ah! Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, leave a like, write a comment. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome to 2020. New year, new decade, new videos in the making, new styles, new concepts, familiar books, familiar things, just all of the things. So yeah, hope you're ready for the madness. And beyond anything else, have a nice day.